Good morning, Anders. Good morning, Christopher. Good morning, Romano. Good morning, Christopher. Chaps, welcome to another episode of the Sportsman's Channel. Um, my name is Christopher. I'm from Voltenjach magazine. Today here with me is Handes, my guest hunter, and Romano from RDB Safaris. Welcome guys to our uh, Kopo, home of RDB Safaris. Thank you very much. Thank you for the invitation. Anders, what are we hunting today? Because of it today, we're gonna try, I'm gonna try to shoot a golden wallabies. It's, it's, it's been on my list for a very long time. And hopefully we'll be successful, eh? Golden wildebeest, is it, a, is it a, a subspecies? No, Christopher. Golden wildebeest is not a subspecies, but it's a color vari variant of the wildebeest. The golden wildebeest naturally occurred along the Limpopo River Basin, adjacent to the Tuli block of Botswana. The early farmers in the 1920s called them the Foss wildebeest. The first go golden wildebeest bull was captured in the 1990s on the game farm Swinburn in the Limpopo Valley. This is the area where the majority of the golden wildebeest originate from. They form the integral part of the large migratory herd that once moved freely between South Africa and Botswana. The golden gene is a recessive gene, quite similar to that that we found in humans with blue eyes. Tell us about your establishment. So the farm is situated in the Limpopo area in the Waterberg district. And it is about two and a half hours drive from Oliver Tambo International Airport. Uh, we offer fully catered accommodation for up to 26 people and have conf conference facilities also of up to 220 people. We offer hunting packages and day trips like golf and hunt packages and day trips like elephant interactions and crocodile feedings. Then we also cater for family members that comes along with, with the hunting trips so that they can have a memorable stay with us. We also do hunting on three different concessions and we have a really big variety of species that can be hunted. Christopher, are we hunting with crossbows? Yes, Anders, exactly so. Um, so the challenges, the challenges I'm posting is can a rifleman pick up a crossbow and use it in the alternative? We shall see. I agree. So yes, um, I'm gonna shoot I'm gonna shoot the Excalibur, which I find to be a very simplistic a very simplistic solution. Um, I, I refer to this as the family crossbow. It's simple, it's practical, um, and, and it really is bulletproof. It's quite accurate, but simple to operate. Whilst um, the mission is a bit more involved, as you can see, and um, frankly, I think that perhaps um, we'll get along with this much easier, whilst I think that's a bit more involved. All right, but we're gonna be using both. Obviously with this, in, in, in my very humble opinion, um, uh, this is limited to about 60, 70 paces, right? With, with, with the skill set that we have. And um, this can probably take us, take us out to about 90, 90 paces or so. A rifleman like me prefers a range. crossbow that can get some range. Yes. Range, yes, agreed. Mm. Mm, definitely. Speed of the two bows, Christopher? Well, um, this bow is at about 390, whilst that there is at, uh, at about 420. It sounds like feet, my type of bow. <laughs> well, we'll see. Let's give it a go. The Excalibur suppressor is, is probably uh, the best all-round choice for family and game. It comes with the tacked 100 illuminated scope which is very well marked and appropriate to the crossbow, which will comfortably get you out to 80 yards and beyond, with very reasonable groupings, of course. The ProTac ACP trigger makes a big difference. Um, it really is smooth for this type of bow. I like the Guardian dry fire system, um, of course, for those awkward dry fires, preventing all of that. 
Remember, this is a straight curve, a straight recurve um, draw of 325 pounds. Um, and one with thick reloading is, is incredibly difficult, but it's quite the opposite. Um, it's very comfortable if you use the EXT crank system, um, and, and it has a fail safe uh, strap, wrist strap. The Excalibur is su super, super robust. Folks, let me tell you, this thing, you can string it up, you can string it up behind the bucky and drag it to the hunting field, pick it up and still shoot the bull.
We are almost 20 minutes on the scope with no good ethical shot.
Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. Well so yes, chaps. Um, thank you very much. Well so done. we waited this out for about, I'd say, 25 minutes or so. Um, at, at one stage, there was three bulls aligned, and uh, unfortunately, with some of the foliage. So I thought I took it just a little high, but um, I mean the, da the damage is evident. Man down. I think it could not ha have gone better than this. Well, also I'll second that. Yeah, Thank you very much, mate. Good. Thank you very much. Oh, great shot. Christopher, congratulations. Well Thank done. you very much, my friend. That's Thank you very a, much. It's a big pleasure. It's a big well done. Great shot. Yeah. Well, I, you know, we've been at this uh, for, for practically the entire day. Yeah. Um, we've, we've done some walking and stalking. Um, we, we had to do some, some driving about. And um, eventually we got stuck on this beautiful animal for, yeah. for about 20 odd minutes. Um, at some stage we had three bulls yeah. in the scope. Yeah. And uh, we just had to wait it out. So finally, yeah. about 65, 65 yards odd, mm. and it was man down. Excep exceptional bull. Well Thank done. You. Thank you very nice much. Shot, everything, yeah. All right. So chaps, there you have it from RDB Safaris. Let me tell you, I've had a brilliant experience. The facilities are beautiful and uh, very professional service. So thank you. Thank you very much. That's a big pleasure from our side. Thank you. I saw you with Jimmy Oak. Ah, this is that girl. Folks, let me tell you about the Matthews Mission SUP 1XR. You know, it's one of the very few crossbows that will shoot consistently and reliably SUP 1 MI groupings at 100 yards. Hence the model designation SUP 1. Now, let me tell you to get that kind of accuracy from a bolt going at 110 feet a second plus took some really creative and very solid engineering. So remember, Mission is a division of Matthews, hence the name Matthews Mission. The SUP-1 um, is really a hard-hitting and very accurate um, uh, crossbow, and make no mistake, very stealthy, extremely stealthy as a matter of fact. It has that uh, innovative fire control technology, um, known for its ability to safely decock. It has a decocking button, which is very convenient. It has a very compact frame and uncompromising finish to the highest quality, which is quite obvious. <clears throat> and it delivers an unmatched shooting experience, I think. The competition benchmark trigger is set around three pounds. And with the adjustable comb and stock length it, in, it ensures remarkable accuracy 
with very little effort, I can assure you. So all around, a brilliant package. Okay, so to set the bolt, it has to go in a specific manner. And as you can see, the knock is arched. So the knock needs to align with the string perfectly. There it is, set. All right, and now it's just safety off and go. We've been we've been out we've been out all morning. Um, as you can see, it's fairly open terrain. We finally found a big herd, so we're going to try and move in now and see if we can't get a shot at about 80, 90 yards. So I'll just let's move out.
after several hours and a couple of opportunities on the sticks, Anders is giving up. He's calling for his rifle.
not comfortable. I was on the sticks. Um, we've reviewed the footage now of the shot and it looks good. Um, we give, we'll give it some time and see what happens before we follow up. <laughs> brilliant, brilliant. Excellent, excellent. Chaps, it's a brilliant shot. Since I was a boy, or since I the first saw that, saw this animal, I really wanted to hunt one. And to hunt one with a crossbow in such brilliant. a manner. Brilliant. On the foot, it took me the whole day. We were up and down and up and down and finally I just decided to trust the equipment and maybe a little bit of luck would carry me through. And 107 yards. 107 yards. What a beautiful animal. And, and the shot placement could not have been better. Guys, brilliant. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank You're you more so much. Welcome. Thank you very much. Again, congratulations. I know we've been at this all day. Um, it's been a tough hunt. <laughs> <laughs> how was how was your experience? Yes, but to be honest with you, this was one of the most memorable hunts ever. We started out this morning, we had made plans, it was this way, that way, this way, but in the end we decided it was best to walk and stalk and just trust the equipment and see if we can get a shot. The final shot was far, far further than we planned for and what we practiced for, but um, sometimes with a little bit of luck and some good equipment you can make a shot like this. This is absolutely a dream of mine to shoot the Golden Willabeers. Yeah, no, absolutely. I, I'm stunned. For, <laughs> I don't usually struggle to say something, but I'm stunned for words. Well, I think at 107 yards with the sub one um, is, is excellent performance. So, again, congratulations. Thank you. I, Thank you for the privilege. You're more than welcome.